be making basics. What's going on YouTube beat making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because I'm coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, what I'm going to be covering is some simple tips you could use to make melodies in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, now you're going to want to start with a software instrument track and under instrument go with a default patch or whatever sound bank you want. But these are the basic tips, man. Basically what you're going to want to do is you can pick your sound here in the library let's just say a piano all right and then click on the scissors and what you want to do is go to the step sequencer from here you can select your key you got these different modes you can select and we got the different steps here so i would recommend starting with the 32 steps and you can you know pretty much check out these different modes here and move, mess around with that. But what you're gonna wanna do is just go over here, mess around with the modes and everything, draw in some patterns and get started uh, with a basic melody. You can move these notes around you know, if, if you need to, but it's pretty simple doing it with this step sequencer. Once you get that pattern going, you wanna come up with a basic bass line and then from there, you want to do something called layering. And what layering is going to be, so we'll take the same pattern, put it on a different track, and change up the instrument sound. So I'm pretty much going to demonstrate that now in this video. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in, man. Basically, what you want to do is come over here to the scissors and then click on Step Sequencer. And pretty much you have like a scale right here. Fire you if you want to want to get down. I would probably start off with 32 steps, and then what you could do is find the key that you want to start with. So let's do C sharp, and then you can pick uh, from all these different um, keys, and you know, I mean everything like this. It's the minor. You have a natural minor key right here. You can start with that, and then pretty much all you have to do is just draw in some, you know, steps. So right now that doesn't sound too crazy, but you can swap it out with these different um, keys. So once you have a basic pattern here, what you want to do is just like start building on that. So I'm going to just double this, pushing Command D, and I'm going to go ahead and now you can use the piano roll.
So basically what you're doing is you start off with the uh, creating a basic pattern using the step sequencer and then you come over here and lay down a basic like base pattern in, in a sense. And literally from here, you don't even have to create anything else. You could just pretty much layer. And what layering is gonna be is using the same pattern but changing up the instrument. So like I can come over here, double this up. And then come back over here to the library. Same thing with this, we can come over here, change up the sound, let's do some bells. Can't really go wrong with a bell. Let me see here. So yeah, man, that's pretty much uh, a simple way for you to go ahead and create melodies in Logic Pro 10, stock sounds, everything. So let's kind of go over it again. What you want to do is come up with a simple pattern, all right, using the step sequencer. Come right over here, go to 32 steps instead, and you just draw out some patterns and notes. Then start laying down like a bass line, something simple, like what we did here. And then the third step is layering. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out and let me know in the comment section below if you like it. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you go to our site, beatmakingbasics.com if you want to check out some of our courses, kits, all that type of stuff, man. And also make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Come back to back with bangers. All right. Peace.